Welcome to Goalie's PIP Academy. Have you ever wondered how trains are made? How do these massive machines come together to carry people? And what about those super fast high speed trains that zoom like rockets? Sounds exciting, right? Today, we're going to uncover the incredible process of how trains are made from the wheels to the engine to the seats. Are you ready to hop aboard this amazing journey? Let's go. All right, so how are trains made? First things first, trains are built in massive factories called train manufacturing plants. These factories are like giant assembly lines where every piece of the train, from the wheels to the engines to the passenger seats, is put together step by step. It all starts with the chassis or the base of the train. This is the part that holds everything together, kind of like a giant metal skeleton. It has to be super strong because trains are really heavy. Once the chassis is built, it's time to add the bogies. These are the sets of wheels that let the train roll smoothly on the tracks. Now let's talk about the engine. The engine is like the heart of the train. It gives the train the power it needs to move. Modern trains often use electric or diesel engines, and some even run on hydrogen fuel cells. These engines are built to be super powerful so they can pull tons of weight at high speeds. How cool is that? Here comes our first quiz. Are you ready to test your train making knowledge? Awesome, true or false? The chassis is the base of the train that holds everything together. Think you know the answer? If you said true, then well done. Yay! That's right. The chassis is like the train's skeleton, giving it the strength and shape it needs. Great job. Let's keep rolling. Once the chassis and engine are ready, it's time to build the train cars. These are the sections of the train that carry passengers, cargo, or even special goods like cars or food. The body of each car is made from lightweight but strong materials like aluminum or steel. Workers shape and weld the metal to create the outer shell of the train. Inside passenger cars, workers install comfy seats, tables, windows, and even cool features like charging stations for your devices. In cargo trains, they build strong containers to safely hold whatever the train is carrying, from food to furniture. Here's a fun fact. Some trains are specially designed to go super fast. These are called high-speed trains, and they can travel over 200 miles per hour. That's faster than most airplanes taking off. Imagine zooming from one city to another in record time. How cool is that? And here comes our second quiz. Ready for another question? Let's go. What is the part of the train that gives it power to move? A, the bogies. B, the engine. C, the interior, D, the chassis. Take a moment to think. If you chose B, the engine, then fantastic. Yeah! That's absolutely correct. The engine is the train's powerhouse, giving it the energy it needs to travel far and fast. Let's sprinkle in some super cool train facts. Did you know that the longest train ever was over 4.5 miles long? It had 682 cars and traveled through Australia. Imagine seeing a train that stretches as far as the eye can see. Another fun fact, trains are one of the most eco-friendly ways to travel. High-speed trains and electric trains produce way less pollution than cars or airplanes, making them a great choice for the planet. How awesome is that? Let's recap what we learned today. Trains are built in giant factories called manufacturing plants. The process starts with the chassis, bogies, and engine, followed by the train cars and interiors. High-speed trains can travel super fast, and trains are one of the best eco-friendly transportation options for our planet. The fascinating, powerful, and eco-friendly world of how trains are made. Thanks for joining us on this amazing journey. 
If you loved learning about how trains are made, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more, and be sure to check out our other playlists. Until next time, stay curious, stay creative, and keep exploring. Is your little one working on finding their first words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early language learners. Our goal is to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. First is we have interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this to support learning. And lastly, our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace. And at Goalie, we're here to provide that extra boost our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their kids' communication needs. Visit GetGoalie.com and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's GetGoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech. Hey there, adventurers! Have you ever thought about how trains, those giant clunky machines that carry people and cargo, came to be? I mean, trains are everywhere now, but they didn't always look like the sleek, super fast ones we see today. Get ready, because today we're taking a journey through time to explore the evolution of trains. From their smoky beginnings to the super speed marvels of today, this is going to be one wild ride. All right, travelers, hop aboard. Let's dive into the world of trains and uncover how they've changed over time. So where did it all begin? A long time ago, back in the 1800s, trains didn't run on electricity or fuel like today. Nope. The very first trains were powered by steam. Steam trains, or locomotives, worked by burning coal to boil water. The steam created pressure which moved giant pistons to power the wheels. The first successful steam locomotive was built by George Stevenson in 1814, and it changed the world. Suddenly, people could travel faster and carry heavier loads than ever before. Imagine going from walking or riding horses to traveling in a machine that could go 15 miles per hour. Now, steam trains were noisy and smoky, but they were the superheroes of the Industrial Revolution. They connected cities, carried supplies, and even made it easier for people to visit their families. How amazing is that? Quiz time. What powered the first trains? A, electricity, B, steam, C, batteries, D, oil. Think you've got it? If you said B dash steam, then well done. That's right. The first trains used steam to chug along the tracks. High fives all around. As time went on, people wanted trains to go faster and be cleaner. Electric trains, these trains started popping up in the late 1800s. Instead of burning coal, they got their power from electricity through overhead wires or rails. Electric trains were quieter, faster, and didn't make big clouds of smoke. Then came diesel trains in the early 1900s. These trains ran on diesel fuel, which made them super powerful and great for carrying heavy cargo. Diesel trains are still used today in many parts of the world, but wait, there's more. The future of trains arrived in the 1960s with the invention of bullet trains. These super fast trains called high speed trains can zoom up to 300 miles per hour. The first bullet train was Japan's Shinkansen and it's still one of the fastest trains in the world. High speed trains are sleek, quiet, and run on electricity. They're perfect for long distances. Can you imagine traveling from one city to another in just an hour or two? Amazing. But wait, let's talk about maglev trains. These futuristic marvels use magnetic levitation. That's right, they float above the tracks. Magnets lift the train off the ground and propel it forward, so there's no friction. This makes maglev trains even faster and smoother than bullet trains. Quiz time again, true or false. Maglev trains float above the tracks using magnets. What's your answer?
If you said true, you're absolutely correct. Did you know that the longest train ever recorded was over 4.5 miles long? It had 682 cars and was used to carry iron ore in Australia. That's one huge train. Some trains don't need drivers. That's right. Many modern trains like subways are fully automated. Computers control everything. Technology is amazing. So what did we learn today? Trains have come a long way. From the smoky steam engines of the 1800s to today's high speed and maglev trains, these machines keep getting faster, cleaner, and more amazing. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel if you wanna learn more and be sure to check out our other playlists. Keep wondering, keep exploring, and I'll see you next time. Is your little one working on finding their words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early learners. Our goal, to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. Interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this one to support learning. Our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace and Goalie is here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their children's communication skills. Visit getgoalie.com today and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's getgoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech.